Welcome back, everybody, to State of Decay. No. Hey, remember me? I hear you folks this doesn't seem right. What about this guy? There he is. Alright, we're getting this guy. Oh yeah, I'm in. There is no way we're leaving them out in the cold. So, welcome back. I feel like you can hear me, even though you never answer. Please respond, if you can. I just, I just want to know you're alive. That I'm not alone. Hmm. Basically... Uh, basically, since I last played, not a ton... Oh, I haven't done anything since I last played, because I always wait until... Like, I... I only stream and play, and then upload to YouTube and everything. Like, I never play offline with this game, because everything can change. So... I believe last time we went and got some new weapons, some guns be specific and we got attacked by a pharaoh almost died I didn't take many damage I just hit him with the car a couple times <coughs> okay uh, but we got this guy who wants a mission or something so we're gonna head over here and see if we can get him to become one of our friends because Keisha's gonna die if we don't get someone to to replace the other like four people who've died already. I don't I don't even remember. I think there's three. I don't think it was four. There's an infestation. I should probably deal with that. But yeah, so we're gonna We're doing this. I hate to hear someone in pain. I'm gonna track that guy down. It's not even that, she's just lonely. <laughs> How sad would it be, just in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, like your entire group dies and it's just you? That'd be sad. Very lonely. Extremely. Ooh. Plus two fuel and plus 25 parts. Don't know how I'm getting fuel. It means I'm using very little resources every day, though, if it's one person. Like... I should be fine for, on food for a few days. <laughs> Alright. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of bad stuff here in Marshall. It's basically the little city area. Spencer's Mill is basically like the small town. Marshall's like the big city. Except it's not huge, it's just like the little city, I guess. And then the fairgrounds, like... A little neighborhood with a fairground in the middle of it. Kind of weird, but eh. I do want to, at some point, probably after we finish like the main playthrough, maybe. And that way I can start over, and then yeah, that'll all work out hopefully. I do want to go through and make a little tutorial kind of series thing. Where I go through and show you like where all the weapon caches are, because people seem to like that and everything. Let's go see this guy. See if we can get a new recruit. Because I'm sure I, I, th I almost think that this is going to end really soon if I don't. Oh no. Hey, it sounds like you lost somebody. Do you need help? Can you do that for me. <laughs> Where are you? Come here. Come here. I Stop running in circles. And Isaac in weeks. Can you help find him? We lost our Let's go find him. He took it really hard. I'm, uh, I'm afraid he might have hurt himself. I just want Isaac to know oh, that I Oh, yikes. I'll tell you a few places to look. 
He's been avoiding me, but maybe you'll be able to get close. Oh my god, it's spread out. Is he coming with? Oh, I'm doing this by myself. Oh. Okay. I thought I was doing this with him. Apparently not. Oh no. Oh no. Hopefully, I need a break. Oh, I, I can't give you a break, hey. though. You you in here? Not here. Where could they be? Okay, I've looked around here, but I don't see any signs of Isaac. Thank you for the update. Isaac just can't understand, and I don't blame him for our daughter's death. We taught her together how to survive out here. Not its fault she got sick. Yikes, my weapon is breaking. Okay, we're gonna switch to the little axe thingy. Tomahawk axe looking thing. <laughs> Things work pretty good. <laughs> Let's head over to right next to the infestation. I should have brought Cure with me. Place, but no luck. I'll keep looking. I appreciate this. When our daughter got, got one sick, more, Isaac did everything he could to save her. It's not his fault that we ran out of time. I know that, but sometimes I'm not sure he does. Let's try and go into the back. Was he alive? I just want to be alone right now. Uh oh. What can I say to make you? Of course he's worried. He's always worried. I'm the one who got our daughter killed, and all he wants to do is talk about it. Calm down. I can't live with his suffering anymore. Please, just tell him I'm dead. It'll be a mercy to both of us. Our home is in a sad state. Please, won't you help us? Have you told Vic that I'm dead? See you later. Oh, yikes. I don't know what to do here. Um... We can tell him he's dead. The only problem is if he runs into him. Mm. <laughs> problem. This could be very problematic. Maybe if we tell him that he's dead, he'll look for another. He'll, he'll be like, "Can you? Can I come live with you or whatever?" Maybe that's how that'll go. Let's try that. Have you had any luck finding Isaac? 
Um, Isaac wants me to tell you he's dead, so you'll move on. I'm sorry, but Isaac is dead. Um... I didn't want to believe this could be true. Everything I loved, it's all gone. There's nothing left for me here. Yes. Maybe I can start fresh somewhere else. Thanks for your help. Yes. You're uh you're a good person. Wait, you don't want to start fresh with me? Oh my god. Am I gonna recruit Isaac instead? Hello. A little close up there. As long as I get one of them on my side, I don't care. Kinda hoping it'd be Vic, because I feel like Isaac's an emotional wreck. Oh. I'll be taking a trip, I think. Start over somewhere new. Good luck. All of you. At least he's leaving, oh, so. That poor guy. Maybe I should have told him the truth. Maybe. I mean, I feel like he's gonna be pretty upset either way. Sorry, your husband doesn't want to see your face anymore. He thinks you should just move on and leave him behind. He, <laughs> like that was gonna go any better. The radio. I guess this means we're really moving on. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. I guess so. There's nothing left for me here. I can leave right now. Follow me. I'll show you our place. I guess I just put me on the menu. That wasn't good. Alright, let's get let's get our new guy. Thank God. Oh, I was starting to worry that we might not get a new person out of this somehow. Dang, these streets are definitely like ten times more crowded than they were in the first game, I'm pretty sure. Definitely sure. Oh, of course there's a play cart there. I just noticed the slight red mist and I was like, great. Well, I'd say that was a pretty successful... We got a new person. They've got some little buff that I didn't get to read about. We'll get to read about it when we get back to our base. I assumed that I get Vic instead of Isaac, but one person so that Keisha's not alone and doesn't die. It's okay. <laughs> as long as I'm... Not cut. I want to get to the end. That's what I want to do. I just want to make it to the end of this playthrough. And if if that, if I only end up with like one person in the end, so be it. I just I just gotta make it there. If one person dies, one more person dies, then I'm just I'm just gonna lose it. Maybe I don't fit there. <laughs> um, okay then. Yeah, that happened! God, the amount of things that you can do in this game, just like glitching out and flying through the air is kind of funny, actually. Oh, please no, please no, don't do this. Don't do this to me now. Okay. We might have to refuel before I get home. I'm not sure. Actually, I think I'll make it. I'll make it. It's always hard to tell with the gas in this game how far you can make it and how, like, when you need to refuel and everything. Oh, this guy's this, this truck is a mess. <clears throat> Might have to repair it. 
second. I thought one of those guys was a juggernaut and I was about to freak out. Like forever since I last filled up here. You <laughs> changed the place a bit. <coughs> that wasn't we me. Have. It's an odd home, but it's home. Feels like home already, doesn't it? Thanks for inviting me in. Alright. Let's let's check out I don't I don't know if I ever checked out Keisha's stuff to see what she's all about. Um, she invents things for fun, a competitive gymnast, a chain smoker. Uh, that's why she has so low stamina. But the competitive gymnast gives her plus one labor, which is good. Uh, and then we can specialize. Specialize in our blunt weapons. Alright, and then we've got Isa here, who is a bioengineering professor. Uh, he's obsessed with plague. So he has a hundred infection resistance. Nice. Effect skills. Plus 30 max stamina. Ready to give up. Minus 30 health. Oh dang. Come on, Isaac. Can't be like that. Can't be like that. Knowledge of medicine, an expert in plague pathology, offers medical advice, extracts plague samples more often. Dang, you seem to be pretty OP. You also look like you hate your life. Alright, let's, let's look into this lab upgrade that we can get him. Because we need to... I'm guessing it's the medical tent. I need a medical upgrade blueprint for that. Ah, build plague annex. Let's do it. Eight minutes. Nice. Okay. Uh, I know, right? It's massive. Alright, so we're gonna switch over to him. Let's see what was. Oh, it's a pretty nice gun. Guy here. Alright, let's see what ammo we need to put in this guy. Let's give him the assault shotgun, how about? Let's make him, like, really OP right off the bat. Okay, it takes a long time to reload. Oh. Alright, so we've got a bladed knife here. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of durability, so I think we'll give him something else that's bladed, maybe. Uh, the kukri? Let's give it. Let's give that to him. It's got slightly more durability. Looks like blunt weapons have a giant thing of durability, and the rest of them are, like, not so much. Okay. Uh, and then we need to give him... Oh, I keep getting something stuck in, like, my throat or something. Our lack of storage just bit us in the ass. We're Snacks. Stuff all over. Okay. Grab one of those. I need some more... First aid kind of stuff, and I don't like that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to her. I'll drop off her first aid stuff, and I'll switch to him. And then I'll grab his first aid stuff. My god, that stamina is insane. The amount of stamina in comparison to the amount of... Take that. Health is, like, so awful. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Okay, we'll take that knife just in case. Uh, I think I can grab oh, another backpack. A better backpack. Alright, and then... I think maybe we help Ray. Let's help out Ray. 